In this video, we are going to learn about congruent triangles. First, let's talk about the word congruent. If you have two objects that are congruent, what it means is that all their measurements are the same, or all measurements are equal. A lot of times you think about the word congruent and the word equal as meaning sort of the same thing, although they actually do have different meanings. You use the word congruent when you're talking about two physically different objects, such as triangles, or angles, or lengths. So let's look at an example. Here I have triangle ABC and triangle DEF. What if I were to say that angle A is 70 degrees and angle D is 70 degrees? This would be a case where those two angles are congruent because they're not actually the same. This is angle A and this is angle D. They're in different places. They're not exactly the same thing, but they have the same measurement. So we can say their measurements are equal. The actual angles themselves are congruent. And the way that we notate that is with the congruent symbol. So we would say angle A is congruent to angle D. And this is the symbol for congruent. It looks like an equal sign, except it has a squiggle like that on top of it. So it is related to being equal, but it's not exactly the same as being equal. If you have two triangles that are congruent, that specifically means that all the measurements of the two triangles are the same. So if I have two triangles again here, ABC and DEF, and I tell you that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, what that means is that all of their corresponding parts are congruent. And if two triangles are congruent, that's what it has to mean. So it means that each angle matches up with an angle in the other triangle. So there's three pairs of congruent angles. There's also three pairs of congruent sides. So if you want to show that two triangles are congruent, so if you didn't know that but you wanted to try to show it, what you could do is show that each pair of angles is congruent and each pair of sides is congruent. So there's a total of three congruent pairs of angles and three congruent pairs of sides. So it is important to remember that you need to have information about both the sides and the angles in order to determine that two triangles are congruent. If you know that just their angles are congruent, that's not enough information to know that the two triangles are congruent because it could be that they have different side lengths.